Hey everyone, today's video is about when he accidentally breaks your arm in an argument. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Let's get going. You and Bakugo have been together for a while now. Your relationship strong and passionate. Both of you are heroes in training at UA High, which meant that life was anything but ordinary. But despite the chaos that came with your chosen path, you always found solace in each other's arms. One sunny afternoon, you found yourselves in your shared apartment. The atmosphere tense. The argument had started over something trivial, as most arguments often did. But this one had escalated quickly. Emotions flaring and were sharper than knives. Katsuki, you never listen. You shouted. Frustration welling up inside you. He glared back, his crimson eyes flashing with anger. I listen just fine. You're the one who can get your head out of your ass. The heated exchange continued until the room felt like it was on the brink of exploding. Bakugo's voice grew louder and more aggressive. In the heat of the moment, he gestured wildly, not realizing how close he was to you. And then it happened. His hand, clenched into a fist, accidentally collided with your arm. With the sickening crack, pain shot through your limb, and you cried out, collapsing to the ground. Bakugo's anger instantly turned to horror, as he realized what he had done. He rushed to your side, kneeling beside you, eyes wide with shock. Shit, I didn't mean, I didn't mean to. He was at a loss for words. Tears welled up in your eyes as you clutched your injured arm, unable to hold back the pain. Katsuki, it hurts. Panicked, Bakugo gently cradled your injured arm, his palms glowing with his explosive quirk. He had no choice but to use his abilities to cauterize the wound and stop any internal bleeding. The pain of his quirk was intense, but she gritted your teeth and endured it. He knew he was doing his best to make amends for what just happened. Once he was sure the immediate danger was over, he carefully scooped you up in his arms and rushed you to the hospital. You could feel his guilt and worry radiating off him as he muttered apologies over and over again. What he didn't know was he had also called the recovery girl to go to the hospital because she was the best at healing those things. He knew because of Midoriya, after all. At the hospital, you were greeted by a recovery girl, who examined your arm and confirmed that it was broken. She set the bone and began the process of healing it, scolding both you and Bakugo for your recklessness. Hours passed as you lay in the hospital bed, your arm encased in a cast. Bakugo sat beside you, his expression a mix of guilt and concern. I'm so sorry, Wyatt. I didn't mean to hurt you. I love you, and I would never. You reached out with your good arm, gently placing your hand on his cheek. I know you didn't mean to, Katsuki. We both got carried away. Let's just learn from this, okay? He nodded, relief washing over him as he leaned in to kiss you softly. I love you too, Wyatt. I promise I'll be more careful. As the days passed, your arm began to heal, and so did your relationship. The incident served as a stark reminder of the importance of communication and control, even in the midst of the most intense arguments. You and Baku emerged from the experience stronger than ever, your love for each other deeper and more resilient. And from that day forward, whenever tempers flared, you both made sure to choose your words carefully, never letting anger escalate to the point where it could cause harm again. You were both heroes in training after all, and the heroes not only protected the world, but each other's as well. Life resumed its usual hectic pace at UA, but there was a noticeable change in your relationship with Bakugo. 
The incident had left an indelible mark, a reminder of the fragility of your bond. It wasn't that you walked on eggshells around each other, but rather, you both became more aware of when to step back and defuse the situation. Bakugo, in particular, took it upon himself to make amends. He became more considerate, always checking in on you, and never letting a day pass without expressing his love. It was as if the incident had made him realize just how much he meant to him, and how easily things could go hairy. One evening, after a grueling day of hero training, you found yourselves on the rooftop of your apartment building. The setting sun in the distance, Baku had brought a blanket and a small picnic, a rare gesture of his softer side. I made dinner. He grumbled, avoiding eye contact. He smiled, understanding the effort he had put into this. It looks amazing, Katsuki. And he both settled down to eat. The tension from that fateful argument seemed like a distant memory. The skyline painted in hues of orange and pink served as a serene backdrop to your meal. You couldn't tell but reflect on how far you've come since that day in your apartment. You know, Bakugo said, his voice softer than usual. I still can't seem to forgive myself for hurting you. You reached out and placed your hand on his, giving it a reassuring squeeze. Katsuki, we've been over this. It was an accident, and we've learned from it. We're stronger now, because of it, right? He sighed, his shoulders relaxing. Yeah, you're right. I just, I don't ever want you to get hurt again. Then we'll make sure it doesn't happen. We'll communicate better, and we'll always remember to cherish what we have. He nodded, a hint of a smile playing on his lips. You're amazing, Wyan. The two of you finished your meal in comfortable silence, basking in the warmth of each other's presence. The sun had now dipped below the horizon, casting the city in a soft, ethereal glow. As the stars began to twinkle in the night sky, Bakugo reached for your hand, intertwining his fingers with yours. I love you, Ayan, more than anything. Tears glistened in your eyes as you leaned in to kiss him, a kiss filled with all the love and passion that had defined your relationship from the very beginning. Thank you guys for listening. I hope you liked this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Goodbye!